Smooth and safe cornering, especially within a group, is another key skill that is vital to get right if you are to continually improve and stay safe. So, follow these simple rules to ride smart and corner with confidence. If you are riding at the front of a group, warn other riders of what's coming up, especially a significant turn that requires some braking. A clear shout, right, right guys, and a hand signal should suffice. Left guys. In a larger group, other riders further down the line should also do the same, so that everyone can slow right. down in good time. Before reaching the corner, look ahead to assess the amount of braking needed to slow. If you're in a group, you'll invariably have riders in front, to the side and behind you, so ensure that you brake evenly. Try to leave a space of approximately a metre of the wheel in front of you, so you have enough room to take evasive action should the rider in front of you get it wrong. And remember to ride smart by never overlapping the wheel in front, either inside or out. Make sure you leave even more space from the wheel in front of you when cornering at higher speeds, and especially in the wet, just to give you that extra reaction time. Ride smart. Good communication is the key to the group running smoothly and safely. Many people ask which brake they should use. Your front brake is more powerful to reduce your speed. However, the safest way is to apply pressure to both brakes evenly and smoothly. Never harshly grab the brakes, as this could cause them to lock up and the bike to go into a skid, or even worse. Reduce your speed on the approach to a corner, and ideally don't brake during the turn itself as the bike is leaning. Practicing doing this will help build your confidence. When riding in a group, corners should be taken slower, and the group should enter, turn and exit as a whole group. A lot of care is needed to make sure you reduce your speed enough just before the corner to prevent you running wide and into another rider. You'll have to take the same curve as those around you, keeping the same speed. Avoid unpredictable and erratic movements whilst on the bike. And also be aware of what is happening around you all the time. When riding alone, you'll have more space to take the ideal line, entering, turning and exiting the corner. This can be done by staying to the middle of the lane when entering and then aiming for the apex on the corner, but remember not to cross the white lines, and exiting in the middle of the lane. Remember to lean your bike, not your body. So when you come up to a corner and you've slowed down enough, lean the bike, and remember to have your left leg at the downwards position. And your right foot at the downward stroke for a left-hand corner. It really is important to look ahead, so on entry, look to the apex, and as you arrive at the apex, look to the exit. Once you are through the corner, start to build up the speed again, but don't do this too suddenly. If you're further back in the group, be aware of when the others start to pedal again, as this will give you an indication of when the corner is coming to an end. Steadily increase your power to the pedals and focus on maintaining a safe distance between you and the rider just in front. Ideally, once the corner is cleared, you should be in the same position in the group as when you started. So, to summarise, right. communicate, right. look ahead, brake smoothly to gradually reduce speed and lean your bike. Don't overlap wheels and away you go. Ride smart. And for more Ride Smart videos, click just up here. And for more sportif and riding advice, click just down here. And to subscribe to GCN, click on me.